one thing about ingredients, it never lies. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today we're speaking everything skincare once again. And today I'm covering a very interesting topic that I thought would really just get us going, but something that actually really needs to be spoken about, but more so explained. I'm speaking affordability versus luxury. We all relate to drugstore and products that we find in the pharmacy, but everyone else also relates to more high-end and luxury products. Before getting started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure that you click the subscribe button, but also click that notification bell to make sure that you get a notification every time that I post a video. So without wasting your time, let's get into it. Oh. I'm gonna start off with speaking about fillers, just as a brief overview to let you in on where I'm going in this conversation. Now, fillers basically boomed when the whole clean beauty and natural beauty sort of like hit the industry and everything was just about being organic and organic skincare. Fillers are a very unregulated term and most of the time, for those who don't know what fillers are, you'll find that brands like to play with the words natural, clean, organic. Everything is science. With everything being science, it's very important to realize or to sort of like remember that no formulator would want to make an ingredients list long for nothing. And I believe that there's a reason why every single ingredient is on an ingredients list. Sometimes you'll find that the product that brands claim they don't have or the clean products that they try to sort of like remove and the fillers that they say are not in a product are actually the ingredients that are actually doing the heavy lifting but i'm sure we all know that anything that's got to do with clean beauty natural beauty organic beauty is all a marketing ploy and the reason i say this is because this is genuinely just to sort of like explain to the consumer that the product that they're using or sort of like the range or the clean and organic range that they're using reassure the person with sensitive skin that those specific products are not going to aggravate their skin or sort of like cause them any allergies on their skin. So there are many factors that actually influence the difference between drugstore and luxury store. What I've realized and what I've noticed as time goes by is that price actually has nothing to do with the efficacy of the product. And simply because luxury skincare all boils down to the cost of production, the quality, the concentration in the ingredients, but also most importantly, the name. There's obviously a lot of um, sort of like influence that comes with marketing and influencers who really will back a brand and they'll sell the brand to you and tell you how amazing this brand is. And sometimes you'll find that it's actually not as accessible as people would like it to be. Because I mean, at the end of the day, skincare is not meant to be tough. We deal with skincare on a day-to-day -day basis and you really just want something that you can grab at the, the drugstore or the pharmacy or just your nearest online store knowing that it's going to be a product that will work. What you'll find is that it's not always the most expensive products that are more scientifically proven to be better uh, because of some supernatural ingredient. And this is where I come in when I say that sometimes expensive skincare isn't always or doesn't always mean better. The question that really just sort of like comes about is that, okay, but now what's the answer? What do I go for? Do I go for luxury skincare or do I go for cheap skincare? And I really think it is based off preference. There's no wrong or right answer, simply because when you look at a, a product or a skincare product, I think it's all about the ingredients and it should be about the ingredients because I think sometimes we look at luxury skincare and we look at, okay, this product has great packaging, the quality is great, um, and you know, it's a treat for myself and let me spoil myself. But sometimes what I found is that with luxury skincare, you really can't buy it in isolation because you'll find that most of the times when they create or they make the product, the, the formulators, they'll sort of like make the, the product and the range at large, a range that you have to buy all together in order to convince you that it's actually going to work. And that's what you normally see with big brands. They don't emphasize on ingredients and the ingredients that in, is included in the product, but they'll emphasize the whole range and say, 
Yes, use the cleanser, use the serum and use this eye cream and use this anti-aging whatnot. But sometimes if you actually take the time, figure out and research what is the key ingredient in this luxury range, you'll find that if you went to a cheaper sort of like product range, you'll find that, wait a minute, these are two different ranges, luxury and cheap, but they both have the same ingredients. And one thing about ingredients, it never lies. It does the same thing for cheap product or luxury product. It's all just marketing. I think what I'm trying to say is that to answer your question, I think it's very key that as a consumer, as a buyer, as a lover of skincare, you worry less about what are the fillers and what are the clean natural ingredients that are in the product, but rather, Focus on the ingredients. The ingredients are what will set your range and your skincare product apart. Because two products, luxury or cheap, that have the same ingredients, literally do the same thing. Hear me out when I say that. I'm not saying that one shouldn't opt for more luxury brands. What is really, really key to look out for is the effectiveness of the ingredients. I just want to really just emphasize on the fact that at the end of the day, obviously, luxury brands will obviously uh, guarantee that they will work um, and definitely give you the results that you need. Common products will also um, give you the results that you're expecting from them, and maybe sometimes they will take a bit of uh, a bit more time, which is a, which is essentially sometimes maybe why people may think that. Um, luxury brands will offer more. I hope you really have learned about, you know, the skin in the game. Um, and yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.